drill, baby. That's what it's all about. It's all about nice cars, showing off, showing people what they can have too. They work hard at it. This is similar to a catwalk. The cars have to be absolutely impeccable. What are you doing, man? Pull your trousers up. Hey, we're here. You made it. Fabulous. Welcome home, Pa. What's on the menu? And there she is, in all her glory. Quite looking forward to this. It's our job to make it worth 1.5 mil again. It's going to look sick. I'm a real life in diesel, isn't it? What can I say? Today's a really special day. We have a very special client's uh, vehicle being delivered to us. She's a very dear friend as well, Annie. She used to have the Rose Gold GTR before, and her husband has bought um, a Lamborghini Huracan for her. Since I was a kid, I've always been into supercars. They're just like, wow. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. I love the rush, the speed, the thrill. Just hearing that noise is better than putting music on in your car. <laughs> I want Cash to make this car very Annie. Fierce and feminine. I've left it to Cash, so we'll see what he comes up with. But there's nothing that can be done that's not reversible. <laughs> so if I don't like anything, I'll probably change it back. And there she is, in all her glory. Why is it she, not he? Let me give me the bull. Bull is short for Belinda. <laughs> or Brujinda. <laughs> what do you think the plate stands for? I have no idea what 9VN means. Very nice. <laughs> Quite looking forward to this. This is one of the most ambitious jobs that we've done. I mean, we're wrapping it in rose gold. We've designed and developed a full body kit for the car. We've designed a full silhouette concept that's going down the side of the car. It's going to look sick. It will. Boys, gather around. Justin. Paul. Dave. Up next, we have this new bad boy that's coming, Lamborghini Huracan. Paul, we need you to get this car totally stripped. Chris, got to detail this car, mate. It's got to be immaculate, ready to wrap. The silhouette of the face will be around here. How do the Americans do it with the flames going down the car? Yeah. There is one other thing. We have decided to Swarovski crystal the entire back of the car, and it will take a half a million of them. It's a quick job, then, is it? Hello, Chrissy. That's a job for you, mate. It's one nice. at a time. It's a big job for anyone, yeah, a massive job. Gash is an ambitious person, isn't he? It's always ambitious. Shoot for the sky. I am an artist, so, or an artiste. Really happy with the progress so far. The boys have done really good. And the car's completely stripped. But, you know, there's a ton of work that's still got to be done. There weren't many things I was into as a kid. Cars were one of them. Music and rap and spoken word was another one. Well, in high school days, for fun, we used to write little rhymes with the friends, you know, in detention. One day I got surprised. Came from work and your grandfather. He said, uh, oh, we find the girl for you, you're gonna get married. And I said, what? I got shocked and I said, get married? Inside out of his head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How am I gonna get married? I'm gonna, are you gonna send me to Pakistan? He said, no, 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 no. You're gonna marry on the telephone. And he can hear ring, 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 ring. And I'm going, he said to me, pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm picking the food. Hello? <laughs> I can't even say hello properly. And this Imam, he said to me, son, you will accept as your wife. I said, I said, okay, okay, yes, yes, okay. I said, put down, I put, put down. I can't believe you got married on the telephone. But kids nowadays, they don't say, no, 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 I'm not going to marry that way. Yeah, I mean, on the phone, I couldn't do that. I'd need to see, like, a full 
biography, I'll need at least 50 pictures, the side shot, the close-up of the feet, well, well, the toenails, the hands, the, well, the, the front shot, the back, not the back side, but the back side of her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> When I speak to my parents about things that they've gone through in life and them growing up, it's nice to hear it because like, there's so much passion in their, in their voice and they all, you know, the way they explain, it's very inspiring. I can take a lot from there and put it into words and, you know, make a spoken word out of it. Today's a very hectic day for us because the lads need to lay down all the rose gold. But on Monday, we lay the crystals. This is as expensive as it gets when it comes to car wraps. The car has to be absolutely immaculate before you start wrapping it. The car cannot have any contaminants on the paintwork, dust, particles, and that sort of thing. So you have to spend a long time cleaning, polishing. It's basically making the paintwork surface as flat as possible. The trouble is we are very, very uh, tight for time now. Today cannot go wrong. OK, if you lift this up like that and come down this way against... Quite a bit of heat on that, Chris. <laughs> Fuck it out. Let me just tuck this wheel arch in first. Some heat on there. Don't want to stick. Stick it. What the fuck is this, man? Chris, that's still dirty. Oh, what the fuck is this shit, bro? I'm doing it. Fuck's sakes, man. Look, it's all. How's that? Chris, How that's not even clean, clean that, that, bro. Look at it. All the way along. Yes, I cleaned it the other day and I've cleaned it today. So, uh, who put that there? My dad. <sighs> fucking pull this shit off, man, and get this fucking panel ready. Fuck's sakes. This shouldn't be happening, should it? You know that we're under pressure. You know we're pressed against time. You know, more than anything, how expensive this film is. Cash gets a bit anal when it comes to prep. It was an honest mistake from me. I missed a little bit of cleaning. Obviously, it's my fault. I'm admitting to it, and we're just going to have to move forward. Well, that wing done. <laughs> Don't you fucking start. In life, we all make mistakes. We're only human. But it's how you come back from that. It's how you learn from it. You know, at the end of the day, I want, I want to be able to teach Chris that, because he's the young man here. He's actually uh, come a long way. I'm a tough cookie. I do put pressure on my guys. You know, at the end of the day, I want them to do well. You are only as good as your team are. You know, if I didn't have them, then I wouldn't be here. Simple as that, isn't it? Chavs, what do you reckon? It looks good, man. It's therapeutic watching a uh, big man rap. I can't actually rap to that level. Here you can. Tap stars repeating it and dropping tech in hits. Watch out now, my lyrical weapon spits. That's his lyrics. <laughs> Talking about lyrics that I wrote like 20 years ago. Yeah, I remember them because he got his own name wrong. It's supposed to be Shabstar, but he calls himself Stabstar. <laughs> There's something that people don't know about when it comes to my brother. Okay. Hey, man. No, no, no. Hey, man. What's going on? You gonna wrap this shit up, fool? With Cash, we have a lot of jokes and banter. He kind of mocks me, but that's, that's what older brothers do. Mario's been like my bestie throughout life, and uh, she's like a big fan of mine as well. Growing up, Mario's been very close to me, so she's one person that I like to sit there and update her with what I'm doing, with, with, with my work, with music, and she gives me honest feedback, and uh, I take her feedback on board. <laughs> Can you stop disturbing me? What do you think of this anyway? The, 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 new, the new song I'm writing. Hmm, who's that? Listen, this is deep. These are lyrics. All right, can I listen to your poem, Shakespeare? Promise me you're gonna start laughing. <laughs> you didn't even make a promise, and you broke it. Okay, go. On. This is all about life growing up. Not a care in the world. I ride my bike down the road, popping wheelies like a boss. Trust those days felt good, making the most of my childhood. But it was all worth it. My brother had my back, yeah, so I never got hurt by the boys from the ends. And I'm stuck. I need your help. And then you can be like, and all I saw was fake friends, because you said you wanted to talk about. That's good. Yeah. Cheers, Mars. That's my two pence done. That was really good. I didn't know you were that sensitive. 
do you mean? This is real. Did you start crying while I was writing that? No. Did you start crying while listening to it? Are you going to read it out to them when you're finished writing it? Maybe. They're not really going to understand it, are they? I would. You're like, what is this gangster bloody rap shit? This is a really intricate job, as you can see, one by one. It is a ball lake. I don't think Shab's realised how big of a job this is, and I'm, I'm actually panicking. This is going to take forever, man. 